Howdy everyone, Laurel here. In this video, I'm going to take an up close and personal look at the Altenew watercolor brush markers. They just released. I ordered them the second they became available and I am playing with them for the first time right now with you on this video. So they come in a pack of 10 colors. It's the spring garden set, which leads me to believe there are going to be future sets. These markers coordinate with the ink colors. Each of the markers has a little dot right there, which is your color coding, which is very true to the actual color, which I'm stoked about because I don't like making little swatches for markers and then gluing them on the caps. That's annoying. <laughs> Off camera, I stamped this image from Ellen Hudson, the Mondo Sakura image in Versamark ink and heat set it with Raven embossing powder. And that's all I did as far as prep work. Now I'm diving right into these markers. For the first time, you will have to remove that little yellow tab there. You're just going to unscrew it and kind of throw it in the garbage. Then you're going to put the marker back together. Then on the marker, there are two sides that say push, and you're going to push the marker, aim down, I found, and just push until the water flows through the barrel into the tip. Now you only have to do that one time per marker, and once you've gone ahead and you removed all the tip and you primed all the color, you'll be good to go for all future sessions using your markers. The first thing I wanted to do was test that tip there. Can I get into really tight spots and those leaves were perfect? And yes, yes I could. <laughs> but then I decided, hey, did these blend before I start coloring this flower? Are these gonna blend? So I scribbled the marker directly onto watercolored cardstock. Then I scribbled it onto a glass surface and added some water and scribbled that on. And now I'm pressing the card panel right into some watered down color there. Now let's see if they blend, because I, you know, I'm doing this lot, I'm doing this straight out of the box, so I had no idea. So at first I'm adding some water, I am not getting too much movement. So I was starting to freak a little bit, I was like, oh boy. But once I added water again, it really moved. So I think the water had to have time to seep into the cardstock, and then I added a little more water, and look how pretty that is now. Whew. So now I'm ready to go in with my flowers and start coloring. So I have two that I stamped. One is on the smooth side of the Distress cardstock, and one is on the rough side. And the one I'm doing now to the left, that's the rough side. So also, I'm going to be taking the smooth side and doing the vibrant colors where I'm taking the marker directly to the paper. And on the other one that I'll be doing like back to back, I'm going to do a more watered down look. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. So for here, I'm going in, I'm adding the, I added the water there, and I'm just picking it up and I'm seeing how vibrant can I go. So I'm going in, I'm, I'm testing this out. As, as I move on, I'll, I'll get a little bit more daring. But I was worried that if I put the, the marker on the cardstock and it didn't blend, ooh, ooh, you know what I'm saying? So that one was mostly the marker directly to the watercolor paper. Now I'm scribbling the marker onto the uh, glass surface, a little watered down, and picking it up that way. So now you're gonna have more softer colors. So obviously if you use the marker straight from the marker, you're gonna get more vibrant tones. And if you are using a watered down version by just creating your own palette, then obviously you're gonna get more softer looks. So it just depends on what you're doing. I'm simultaneously <laughs> doing both. <laughs> So here I am going in with a yellow color. This is warm sunshine going right over the orange. Now I am drying my panels in between with a Ranger heat. What is this called? A Ranger. This is brand new. A heat it craft tool. I don't know where that's been all my life, but uh, I think I had it eons ago and I was using it for heat embossing and that's not what it's for. It's to dry your watercolors. It disperses a even amount of heat throughout and oh, oh man. That was something else. So I'm drying as I go. Now I'm going in here with the purple. So I went and put the marker down on that flower first, and then I'm blending it out with just a water brush pen, which is just a brush filled with water. You can use a paintbrush too if you want. And on this one, again, this is the rough side of the cardstock. We're doing the more watered down colors here. So I'm picking it up from the glass surface there. So now I'm going here and doing the next one. You see what I'm doing here, right? You're getting it, you get a little bored yet? So I'm putting the, the brush down, then I'm blending it out with a water marker for the smooth card, where I was gonna be more vibrant. And on this one, I'm picking it up from the glass surface that I added and added a little bit of water. So you can see the difference between the two. Doing a little blending and again, heating in between every single time. So here I am, this is what, Sea Breeze. Doing the same thing. You getting bored yet? You still with me? Are you sleeping? Are you eating? <laughs> so I'm almost done with this. So yeah, they're blending very easily now. Whew. 
Let's do a little color mixing real quick, shall we? I'm going to take two colors. It's a purple and that uh, color we just used there, and I mixed them together. And whoo, would you look at that? Would you look at that? That is Midnight Violet and Sea Breeze, or Dusk. I think it's Dusk. I, I take it back. Uh, and I just mix those together. Now here, I'm going to be honest with you. This is a boo-boo. Do you see I'm actually using the Alta New brush? I thought I was using my water pen this whole time. So I got to go in and do a little card surgery here because I put some really intense colors down because here I am thinking I'm blending with water. No, mm -mm, I'm blending with the actual water color brush marker. <laughs> So I'm going to go in and blend this out with water. I've got a paper towel off to the side. I'm dabbing up any puddles, and it's going to turn out to be great. And I could have cut that out and never told you I did that, but hey, I mean, we're all human. And don't throw your card away. Let's try to find a way to fix it. You know, I got enough stuff in the garbage. I don't need to add, add a pretty watercolored card to it. So here I am going in with the evening gray marker and just coloring in the stem. Perfect for tight little images like that. I love it. And then I decided to just flick the brush on my hand to get some of that color flicked onto my card panels. Love it, love it, love it. So there are lots of color mixing possibilities with these 10 markers, I'm just saying. And I only did one mix here. Okay, I'm gonna take this card and I'm gonna bump it up a notch and I did get a little worried. I'm gonna take some water and I'm just gonna spray the whole panel. Now this could have turned into one big mess but it didn't so i just sprayed it i'll pick up the cardstock and kind of move that color around i just wanted it kind of wicked at wick it out some just wick out and uh, then i dried it with the ranger heated tool and i love it i love it Whew. Whew. i still had the other one if, if all else failed so i kept the the one true the one that we pretty much did the marker direct to paper and then the one that I sprayed with water was the one that we applied with the softer color, with the, the marker that we mixed with water onto the mat and then added to the card. And I love how it turned out. So same card, same layout, same colors, just one has more water and the other one doesn't. So um, I have a lot more to practice with these markers. Um, I love them. If you try them out, make sure you try them out on some decent watercolored paper, I would say. Um, I'm using the Ranger watercolored cardstock. It's my go-to watercolor. I know there's a lot of more expensive brands on the market for uh, real watercolorists, <laughs> but I'm too cheap. <laughs> but to, anyway, so yeah, that's my uh, first dive in. We're diving right in with the markers. So what do you think? Do you like them? The colors are incredibly intense and pigmented. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure there was probably a blog hop. I'm going to go check out and see what other designers have done because now it's time for me to study. Now it's time for me to actually do some homework and see what these markers can do. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.